So you want a story that is going to help you remember hypocalcemia and hypercalcemia. I got one for you. Okay, so think about the abbreviation for calcium is CA. So we're going to also call that California. So hypercalifornia is going to be Northern California. Hypocalifornia would be like Southern California, Baja, friggin' Little Mexico, right? It's practically Mexico, Southern California. Um, don't, I'm not hating, I used to live in California, so I can speak about it. Okay, no, so with hypokalemia, low California, right? So you go down to California slash Mexico, don't drink the water, don't do it. But in the situation this person did, and they're got the nausea and vomiting, Ugh, it's a mess, increased gastric motility. Um, but you know, hey, when in Mexico, let's pop some E, because we're going to relax and party, right? I'm just saying, some people do it, I don't know. And uh, so you have, uh, oh man, take some E, oh, your lips are tingly, your hands are tingly, your feet are tingly, that's not good. But it's paresthesia, which happens, it's the first step. Next thing, after you took some E, I want to dance, right? So I'm going to do the uh, Mexico hypocalcemia dance, which looks like, right? Because it's the signs and the signs, I'm not going to say them because I don't know how to pronounce them, but you start seeing those signs, right? Okay, it's a little dance move. But um, the point of going to Mexico is to relax and go on vacation. So your blood pressure is going to go down, right? That'll happen. But you took that ecstasy and you want to dance. So you're going to have muscle twitching and increased skeletal muscle activity, right? Because you're going to dance and you're doing the dance moves, right? All right. So that is in a, in a nutshell. And there's other stuff, so learn that. But that is hypocalcemia. Um, yeah. If you took my pulse, it would be weak and thready, probably because of the E. Probably because of the E. All right. So, but like a more distinguished person, I'm going to travel to Hyper California. I'm going to go up north. San Francisco is technically considered Northern California. So we're just going to go with there because that's where the hippies are. And that's where the story fits. Okay. Hippies, I'm in Bellingham and San Francisco. I've seen them. Um, so you're going to have, everything's going to slow down. At first though, you move to the area and... You're, like, always dodging trolleys. So your blood pressure is high, and you're like, what the H? What are these trolleys? These, like, ancient vehicles traveling down the road, right? But eventually you get used to it, and so then your blood pressure would then go down. Um, so, and then you are immersed in the culture of San Francisco, which is very, like... I'm slow, I'm a hippie, I'm lethargic, and I have decreased gastric motility because everything is just chilling, right? So, <laughs> that's what I got. Fun fact, there's lots of boulders in California, and you can see increased stones. Kidney stones, that is. Or renal calculi. It's not on the paper, but fun fact. Right? So there's other things to know, but those are the, I feel like that kind of gets it. So hope that helps.